welcome you to the family. Thanks for tuning in. If you have a question or a suggestion, leave so in the comments below or message me on the various social media sites that will be down in the description. So today we're going to be talking about artistic stubbornness. Now, artistic stubbornness. Uh, there are two sides of uh, stubbornness. Uh, there's a there are positive traits to the stubbornness, and there are also negative traits to the stubbornness. What the definition of stubbornness is is like a dodged determination not to change one's attitude or position of something or an idea, and that can be a uh, not to change the idea of not giving up on your passion or that can be the idea of being close-minded to new insightful ideas to help you grow so in in a sense there are both positive and negative characteristics to the stubbornness but to pinpoint and go directly towards the the negative side of stubbornness in which people would rather remain closed off to the idea of growing and gaining knowledge from you know any kind of material for example I know there are some uh, artists that do exist that would remain close-minded to the idea of learning certain fundamentals even though they wish to take uh, the art seriously or more so just improve upon the craft but they wouldn't be able to improve and go to the next level if they do remain stubborn so there were many uh, there was an artist that did ask me for advice back back in my uh, college and I did give him a few just two tutorials on the topic at hand which dealt with uh, backgrounds or so and even though he never took a look at it he was really stubborn he said that uh, every youtuber were you know stuck up and he felt that they were speaking down on the viewers and that kind of idea that remaining close-minded to gaining new access of knowledge ended up being a detriment to him because that tutorial that i gave him perhaps excelled him to the next level when it came to backgrounds and so the uh, psychology as to why people wish to remain stubborn sometimes can be due to the fact that it causes change and people are afraid of change rather it's a positive or a negative because there are some people that do exist that are afraid of success you know likewise people that are afraid of failure and that keeps them in the bubble and so when change does happen that indicates a shift in the person's perspective a shift in the paradigm their own paradigm and it is understanding why people may be afraid of change because they spent years upon years you know doing their tasks believing what they believed in and then suddenly when their ideals or their idea is challenged there is some there's some delusion within there and there's also resistance within that person because there is this fear of change and so to state a example a person that grows up believing that they're stupid suddenly they're they gain the compliment of you're actually a smart person there will be some resistance because that person has spent for example you know 15 years or so believing that he or she was dumb and that is 15 years of momentum and that's since that's 15 years of momentum the change can feel a sense of resistance towards that change uh, likewise if someone were to change their diet let's say for example those entire years and hours uh not paying attention not paying good attention to your health you know 30 years of momentum of doing that unhealthy lifestyle there will be resistance to the change of the diet the change of eating more healthy and staying fit and whatnot there will be resistance but eventually as those years pass you will eventually adapt and you will gain the momentum of eating healthier and you will no longer be in the same resonance as eating unhealthy 
being able to face that fear, face that resistance, face that, that change that's going on in your life. And though change can be a scary thing, our greatest evolution comes in risks, comes in, you know, facing our fears, you know, stepping out of our comfort zone. Though I do say that drawing is very simple, it just gives the illusion of complexity. And with that illusion of complexity, many people are very fearful of drawing. They focus on that complexity of drawing instead of the simplicity that it originated from. And so if you're a artist or if you're a writer, it, my advice would be to, to drop the expectation of whatever task you're going to go into and actually take that risk. Engulf yourself in the change to make it not be so much of a negative way of being stubborn, but more so a, a positive once you fully adapt to the other side of the coin. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that red subscribe button down below to help support the family. And that will be all. Peace out.